this is Zadok Dieter 635 and what I'm gonna show right now is how far I went on the bell ringing walking Santa Claus he's almost done he's not done he needs some stuff um, <coughs> some minor stuff and then he might be ready so what does he need well uh, I'll just show it when I finish putting this the right way there you go. Uh, what this Santa Claus needs is first of all the hat to be glued. It's not glued and of course it has to be glued. If you guys ask about the face, I cleaned it a thousand times. It's, this does not come off. Easy as that. It does not come off. Alright? So that's a question less. Um, <clears throat> another thing that I still need to do is to s to get new batteries for him. These batteries here are dead. I I don't really know if they are dead. I mean, I have a voltimeter and I I uh, I measured them and all, but I don't know how he's going to react in uh, three volts from batteries. I know how he might react on a trans. Um, an adapter. Yeah, I have an adapter. I tried to plug him in there. The thing is that I've, if I do it again, I might fry him up. Uh, not, not really. This is not related with the polarity or anything, but it's because it's just, I don't know, it's just too much amps for this guy. Or too, too much wa uh, watts. The volts are fine, but not the amps. And that's what fucks the things up. Alright? So, going back with the toy. The, the toy is not finished yet. He is a mix. Yeah, he's a hybrid, a mix, whatever, however you want to call him. He has half pieces from Matthew the Bear. If you guys remember Matthew, it was a toy that I used to have maybe in 2013, I think, or 2000, yeah, 2013. He did exactly the same thing. Um... But he did not make any sound, and the head would be like, yip, 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 each single time he would ring the bell. Well, that toy is no longer alive. I scrapped him up because he was in really bad condition. And I mixed the pieces with this one. The thing is that the motor was way too fast, and the chip would not work fine. Then um, there would be a short, because the gearbox is tin. So pretty much it just started mixing up the pieces, and this is the result. Uh, in an improved... Santa Claus. If you guys see, the legs are made out of tin right now. Yeah, they are tin. And this is what I said I was needing to do, which is just soldering the axis so that they don't go out or anything. Because they're going out. Yeah, I have to solder them. Um, same in this leg. Actually, I have to do the same exact thing there. The axis just came out of here as well. Yeah, but for all those who want to know, basically, the uh, bell ringing bear was a legit bear. He was made out by a company called Supreme. Let's see if the camera can focus it fine. There we go, Supreme. Made in Taiwan, ROC. That means Republic of China. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, the Santa Claus itself is pretty rare, not because of how he looks like, pretty much because of the mix of this clothing with this face and this kind of candle. The candle before was exactly the same, but the other one broke, so I made this one with, with, um, with a marker, and it's exactly the same, it did not change in anything, it was exactly the same candle, so nothing really has to change on him. The thing about him, why I mean it's rare, is because all three songs are complete. Except for the Santa Claus is Coming to Town, that one is normal. But the Jingle Bells and the We, and the we Wish You a Merry Christmas, those are changed. Yeah, but I'm gonna show that in a while. Another thing is wrong with him is the, the hand. This is three years of too much super glue and repair tries yeah i know i tried washing it it did not work the hands are still dirty well right now what i have to do is just put the hand like this on the bell and if you guys see there's a small the small wire coming out of the back well what i have to do is just put the hand like this and 
put it there until it just snaps right there. That's what I think I have to do. Like that. See? So right now, Santa Claus's hand is actually... Lo looks like if he would be ringing the bell, and you cannot see this from the front, but from the side you can actually see it, so it's worthless. Yeah, the Santa Claus... Oh, the box! The box, the box, the box! Sorry, sorry about that. The box itself, um... It's, uh, yeah, this one looks a lot better because that one was new. <laughs> With multi-functions, yeah. And I see music. Battery operated. If you guys see the box is kind of faded out somehow. Walking ringing bell. Light face and candle. When I got him, he did not have a, fa a light in the face. He only had the light in the candle. Small detail, but now I modified him. You guys are going to see that. Light face and candle, sack bag. Some of this bring a sack, some of this don't. Some of this bring glasses. Actually, this one. If you guys look in the, um, no, no, that's, sorry, that's a head part. Um, if you guys see right there, he has the hole in the ear for, for a possible pair of glasses. But, somehow, he did not bring them, so he might be just a basic Santa Claus. I've always loved the Santa Clauses because of how they walk. It, well, actually, the way the way the back stoppers work is not really good because in the normal robot back stoppers, let me just bring one. In this one, by example, in this robot back stoppers, when the wheel just goes back like this, it does not let the wheel to move. Now, in sorry, sorry, I left zero like that. <laughs> in this one, if you guys see. Basically, you can turn the thing all the way back. The only thing is that you have to move it until there, where the plastic is, for the wheel to actually lock up. That's why they call these guys the the original one, the original ones. They call them shuffling because they shuffle with that. Sadly, this is not a really good way of walking because the newer ones don't walk. The new versions. This one before did not walk. I mean, he, he moved the legs, but he did not walk forward. He did not go forward. You, before he was all plastic. Now he's plastic and tin. But still. Um, he just shuffles. Now he walks better. The motor has been replaced by a slow one, because if not, the, the sound chip would not work. And, yeah. Let me just... I'll just think what I have to say about him, and then I'll just put the video back. Well, here it is. Um, fuck. All right, the Santa Claus before was broken. The mechanism was, was broken. I fixed it. It broke again. Uh, he never really worked fine. So I just took that gearbox away and threw it away. Yeah, it no longer exists. When I got Matthew the Bear, uh, and it was just in really bad shape, I just gave him another gear. Gave this guy his gearbox. So now he works perfectly. And he walks really good. He's just so slidey. I mean... Whee! Whee! <laughs> He's gonna fall out of the table, my god. But yeah. Also, the box has a very strange way of getting opened. What the heck is that? Huh? The heck is that? Yep, this box has been opened, has been standing open for a long time, so a lot of things could enter in it. <laughs> yeah, so this box has a very way, a very strange way of getting opened. Not only one flap, this one has like just the opposite, like exactly like the lower part. Weird. Well, so yeah, the toy right now seems to work. The batteries, I don't know if it's the batteries or that I have to put him three triple A's, which if if this do not work, I mean, when I get the new batteries, if they don't work, then I'm going to get new batteries to him. Like, now I'm, I'm gonna get the this battery holder. This is from the repeating hamster. He does no longer work. The chip is fried. When you connect the motor, he stops working. So he only works when the motor is disconnected. See right there? The wire... That, the red wire that belongs to the motor is disconnected. See, I just... 
I just cut it off. You can see the other part there. It's a piece of shit. Yeah, a total waste of money. So yeah, something also rare about this one is that the 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 back is red. I never really thought these guys would be red. They're always black. So yeah, let me just take the battery cover off. It has a very cool way of <laughs> opening it up. And what we find here is a complete disaster. If you guys see that, don't worry, that's grease. That's not corrosion or anything. It's just that I just... This is just oil. Yeah, this is oil, not corrosion. Not not um not corrosion or grease. It's just oil. Yuck. But still, the Santa Claus does work. So we're gonna we're gonna put the batteries in. Let me just pause the video. For all those people that know a lot about these things, you guys are gonna know that the C batteries are exactly the same size as the double A's. So they fit perfectly and they work. So yeah. Now I'm just going to close this without the cover. It's a Velcro, believe it or not. <laughs> um, I'm just going to close it like this without the cover. So, he's gonna work very slow, but don't worry. The candle lights up, now the face lights up. I was thinking about modifying him, because there are some that actually light up the eyes. There are versions that do that. That's why I was trying, but meh, I don't know. So, here it goes. Sorry about that. He's pretty slow right now, but if I get new batteries, he might move faster. And if that does not help, I'm going to put this 3 AA battery compartment and that'll be everything. So yeah, um, this has been Zadok Dieter. <coughs> Thanks. Sorry about that, second pause. So yeah, this has been everything for now, I'll keep on working in him and uh, also, with Kevin, I've made a